So for this question, we're first going to try to solve this system of equations to find the value of x, y, and z that satisfy equation 1, 2, and 3 at the same time. And normally, how you would do this is by representing the coefficients of the matrix, coefficients of the equations in a matrix. This is called the augmented matrix. And we're going to perform a bunch of row operations that don't change the final solution of x, y, and z. So row operations can be switching rows, multiplying scalars to the rows, and adding the rows together. So we're first going to try to reduce these entries into zeros. So this is called the reduced echelon form, and that's going to help us read the solutions directly off the matrix. And we're going to try to see what the conditions for A and B are so that there is no points of intersection. So if you were to label this R1, R2, and R3 in terms of showing workings, uh, let's just keep the first row. So 2, minus 1, 1, 5. The second one, let's try to eliminate this entry. So we're going to have um, R2 times 2 minus R1. So 1 times 2, that's 2. Minus 2, that's going to be 0. 3 times 2, that's 6. Uh, minus, minus 1, that's 7. Minus 1 times 2, that's negative 2. Subtract 1, negative 3. 4 times 2, that's 8. Subtract the 5, that's going to give us a 3. For this one, um, we can try to have something like r3 minus 3 times r2. So 3 minus 3 times 1, that's 0. Minus 5 minus 3 times 3, that's a negative 14. a minus 3 times negative 1, that's a, a plus 3. And b minus 3 times 4. So that's a b minus 12. Next up, we're going to try to eliminate this entry and make it a 0. So we're keeping the first row, 2 minus 1, 1, 5. We can keep the second row, 2, 0, 7, minus 3, 3. And we can, uh, if we call this like r2 prime, and this has r3 prime, we can try. Um, r3 prime minus 2 times r2 prime. So minus 14. Actually, we just add. So, so minus 14 plus 2 times 7, that's a 0. a plus 3 plus 2 times negative 3. So that's a plus 3 minus 6, so that's a minus 3. b minus 12 plus 6, so b minus 6. So this is the reduced echelon form where these entries are 0. And currently, we have something like, in the final equation, a minus 3 times z equals b minus 6. And using this, we'd find a single z value, substitute it in here to find the y value, and then here to find the x value. But if a were to equal 3, and b were not to equal 6, what we would have is 0 times x plus 0 times y plus 0 times z equals uh, d, where d would be a non-zero value. So no value of x, y, z can satisfy this, satisfy the case where this is happening. So for the three planes to have no points of intersection, a has to equal 3, b cannot be 6.